What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today finally to give you guys a review of the Aimee Leon Dore collaboration with New Balance on this 993 in the taupe colorway. Today's video as always is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles. So depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for just your regular sneakers, you're going to find this a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and to me, I personally find them to be very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So after months and months and months of avoiding this shoe, I guess the constant request for reviewing a 993 finally got to me. So when I was given the opportunity to pick up a pair for retail, I couldn't say no, so here we are today. So this collaboration with Aimee Leon Dore consisted of this one along with the beef and broccoli colorway as well. Both these pairs originally dropped on ALD's website late last year, but then this pair had a follow-up release earlier on this year. So this pair retailed for a price of 200 US dollars or approximately 270 Canadian dollars. And the product code for this shoe is M993ALL. And I'll be completely honest and transparent with you guys. When I first saw images of this collaboration, I was not a fan at all. And honestly, to this day, I still don't really like the beef and broccoli colorway at all. And long story short, I still think this colorway is just decent at best, but to some degree, it has grown on me over the past few months. So first off, here's a quick look at the box, and this comes in a special edition box just for this collaboration. So you can see the cardboard is done in sort of a khaki tone, and you can see on the top we have Aimee Leonor branding, and on the sides we have ALD branding as well as New Balance Made in USA branding too. As for the shoe itself, so diving straight into the details, the base layer visible on the toe box, this is constructed out of a blue colored mesh, and we have this hit of reflective 3M in the middle right above this in khaki, and overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have this perforated nubuck, which is done in this plum or purple sort of color. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have a very soft and buttery taupe colored suede, which in real life is a light khaki or tan sort of tone. This taupe colored suede covers the eyelets of the shoe, and the top two eyelets are constructed out of this TPU material in the same tonal color. Beneath this on the mid panel, we have another overlay of suede, and stitched on top of this, we have the New Balance N logo. This is done in this reflective 3M finish, in a combination of taupe and that same purple or plum color. Moving downwards, we have more of that blue mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box, and we have another overlay of this purple or plum colored nubuck, which once again has that perforated finish to it. Surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have more of that taupe colored suede, and we have 993 branding pressed on the lateral side. In the middle, we have this oval shaped cutout, which reveals this nylon underlay with AMA Leondor branding, and then above this, we have another reflective overlay in black, along with that purple or plum colored nubuck surrounding the very top. Wrapping around the bottom of the heel, we have this TPU heel clip, which is done in this purple translucent finish with New Balance branding in black, and this helps give you added support and structure for the back end of the shoe. As for the laces, so these actually come with three different lace options. So my favorite pair of the three were these mixed style laces, which combines both the taupe elements and the plum or purple elements on the same lace. But if you're not feeling these, they also give you plain taupe colored laces, along with a plain black colored lace as well. Underneath this, the bottom half of the tongue is constructed out of a black colored nylon, and on the very top we have this black colored nubuck, and embroidered on the top we have New Balance Made in USA, along with 993 branding. The inner collar of the shoe is pretty thinly padded, and it's covered with this black colored textile. As for the insoles, these come with a foam padded insole, but the insole itself is lined in this fleece material, giving it more of a warm and cozy vibe and stitched on the heel we have this tag with ALD branding. So the upper of the 993 sits atop this absorbed foam midsole, and this midsole is entirely painted in black. Underneath the heel, they also incorporate Absorb DTS technology, which in simple terms is sort of like a crash pad, and it's constructed out of a combination of Absorb and Absorb SBS. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard 993 outsole. So this is primarily constructed out of a black colored rubber. We have hits of purple or plum running throughout, along with New Balance branding found right in the middle. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these ALD 993s. And for those wondering about sizing, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a 9.5 and, and they fit me well in a slightly roomy way. So I feel like the 993 is a shoe you definitely should go a half size down in. Again, I got these in a 9.5 and, and they're still about a thumb's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe. So I feel like if you were to go true to size, there'd be way too much room, especially from a length perspective. So for that reason, go a half size down. 
Just to give you guys a point of comparison, I also go a half size down or a 9.5 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 998, the 992, the 990 V3, V4, V5, along with most of my 550s. And in comparison, I stick true to size or a size 10 in most of my New Balance 997s, the 990 V2 because of its more narrow toe box, along with some of my made in UK models like most of my 991s, the 1500 and the 1530. And I know this pair draws a lot of comparisons to the 992 for example, but I feel honestly for this specific pair, these feel more roomy than most of my 992s even. Moving on to the comfort, so I feel like the 993 is decently comfortable, but if I had to compare it to, for example, the 992, I feel like the 992 has a bit more cushioning and softness underfoot, whereas the 993 maybe has a bit more support and structure, and especially under the heel area, I feel like it gave me more of a firm ride, and it didn't feel as spongy as the 992, for example. But still, this is a very comfortable shoe to wear for everyday use, and it's definitely a pair I feel like I can wear for many hours in a day without feeling any pain or fatigue in the arches of my feet. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship. So first off, material quality, I thought it was exceptional. The suede especially had a very nice buttery feel to it in hand, and all the other components of the shoe I thought were very, very solid as well. And in terms of the overall craftsmanship and build, so the only minor issue I had was some glue stains on this TPU heel clip, but aside from that, I really couldn't identify any major flaws at all, so I thought this definitely lived up to the whole collaboration aspect of this release. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I said from the beginning, at best, this is a shoe that I feel is decent. I won't lie and say that I love this shoe just because it's a collaboration. And I think the thing that kills it for me the most is this black midsole. But it's definitely one of those shoes, like I said, the more I've seen it over the past few months, they definitely have grown on me to some degree. I just don't know realistically how much wear this shoe will see on feet. But anyways, the people have spoken. They've been asking me for a 993 review to put on my channel. So here we are. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to follow more of my content, you can check me out on Instagram at esco8. Follow me on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website as well at seangoca So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this ALD 993. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.